Hi everybody, it's Drea. It is Drugstore Week here on my channel. We are on day number two and today I wanted to talk about cheek products, specifically highlighters and blushes. This is definitely two of my absolute favorite categories of makeup to explore, to play with. It's just so much fun to play with color. I don't know what it is. If you are a blush lover and a highlight lover, you know. It's a sisterhood, right? So in uh, Sunday's video, I talked about drugstore lip products worth trying, and today I just wanted to talk about all of my current favorite highlights and blushes from the drugstore. I could not start off a video like this without talking about one of my absolute favorite highlighters, high-end drugstore whatever from 2016. And this one is the Physician's Formula shimmer strips all in one custom nude palette in natural nude they just have like the longest names ever um but this product is so beautiful if you want a blinding highlight you can get it with this but it's also customizable this has one of the softest textures of any any highlight i've ever touched never mind drugstore but it's just so gorgeously buttery and just Oh, just so good. So right there, I just stuck my finger right in this quadrant, but you can either mix it all together, you can go in different sections. So there's more of the pinky side of it. If you have a deeper skin tone, you can go into the more bronzy side of it. Um, you could also use them for eyeshadows, but I just stick to highlights mainly. But it just blends into the skin so wonderfully, and it just is one of those ba-bam, type highlights. Now, one product that I just got very recently but I fell in love with and have been using over and over are these blushing hearts. Now, these are from Makeup Revolution and I have here peachy pink kisses and uh, iced hearts. So the peachy pink is obviously a peachy pink. So this is supposed to be their version of the Too Faced blushes, although I do own one of the Too Faced Two Faced blushes, and I will say that those are definitely more blushes, and these are definitely more highlighty slash blush toppery, depending on your skin tone. So again, you could stick your finger in different sections, and you're gonna get something a little bit different. Look at how beautiful that comes out. Oh my goodness. These don't require a lot of building up to get up to that kind of stunning highlight on the cheeks, and they do last all day long. I don't want to come out and call these an absolute favorite because I literally just started using them yesterday. And but I did want to talk about them because I was so impressed that I just I it's almost like an instant love, you know, like love at first swatch. So in tomorrow's video, you will see me talk about this. I already filmed tomorrow's video. <laughs> it's all kind of mixed up, but I use this here. This is um, the NYX Duochromatic Illuminating, Illuminating Powder. This one is in the shade Snow Rose. You guys, this is so gorgeous. So this is a duochrome, meaning that it's gonna have a shift to it. This is the icier one of the two that I have. And this is definitely like a white that shifts to pink. And then this one here is called Lavender Steel. I did declutter my NYX um, Illuminator palette, but I did talk about it in a previous video. That purpley highlight in that palette was so gorgeous that I was hoping that this would do kind of the same thing. And it really does. It shifts kind of from a purple to a pink. And these ones don't swatch as well as they wear. So what I'm wearing on my cheeks today is actually a combination of the two of these. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up all that well, but it's definitely like a pink highlight on my cheeks and it definitely has a shift to it. And listen, this isn't gonna be for everybody. This is not your everyday work appropriate highlight, but if you like you know, a little bit of fun, a little bit of playing with different looks, a little bit of something unique and different, these are definitely something to check out. Something else I wanted to talk about from Makeup Revolution are their Vivid Baked Highlighters. I actually have three of them. The third one I own though, I have never touched yet because it's a pink highlighter. Um, I will get around to it, but these two I played with quite a bit and I really, really love them. So these ones are very, very intense highlighters. This one is called Golden Lights. They have this kind of really hard baked feel to them, but you know, a lot of product definitely comes out. That one is a gold one. And this one I've actually had for a lot longer. This one I featured in my best of 2016 because I really just love it that much. This is the one called Radiant Lights. I think this is probably gonna be suitable for a lot of people. It's definitely more of a pinky 
kind of champagne, but definitely a little bit of pink in it, whereas this one is a lot more gold. And these ones are, again, just super intense on the cheeks. I would say they have a little bit of a softer, I don't want to say chalky, but it doesn't blend quite as well as some of my other highlighters into the cheeks, for example. It doesn't, it's not as smooth as this one, but you know, if you're going to set your face with like a setting spray, like a MAC Fix Plus, usually that will kind of take care of any of that powdery look that something might have anyway. So that's usually what I do, but I love these ones. Essence is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands and this product got a lot of hype last year, especially on YouTube. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm not ready to say that this is one of my personal favorite highlighters because it is a lot more subtle, um, but I know a lot of you like that. I know a lot of you appreciate a subtle highlight and if that's what you're looking for this is actually a really really great product so they only have one shade in this it's called be my highlight and I would say this is not gonna work on fair skin tones it's definitely for somebody with more medium skin because it has that kind of peach look to it you can see it's very smooth it's very very smooth it almost blends into my hand there and on the cheeks what you're gonna get is just kind of that very subtle but still radiant and very very natural glow. Wet n Wild first launched this as a limited edition product and then people went so crazy over it that they made it permanent. There's actually two in this kind of range but I only have one of them. So this is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. This one like oh my gosh I love when companies do something extra like put a little design. I don't know it just makes me happy. Um, I've been trying to keep my brush over here so as not to wreck it but this is again kind of just like that peachy very intense very very intense peachy glow this doesn't have any glitter in it and i don't think any of the ones i'm showing you have glitter per se but it definitely has a very intense sheen and you can see like that color is absolutely gorgeous so again this is going to be really good on medium skin tones or darker like on somebody who has definitely more of like a deeper tan or caramel color skin this is going to look so gorgeous on you one of my favorite highlights for a very long time has been from elf and this one is called pinktastic it is actually one of their big blushes but it's not a blush it's definitely a highlight now i've heard from different people that some of these in particular do not swatch well they have to scrape a layer off the top of them before they can get them to work I've never had that issue with this one in particular. I really, really have just always had a beautiful instant glow from this. That's that one right on top there. You can see how just how glowy that is. And that is just like barely touching my finger on it. So this one in Pinktastic has always been just so gorgeous. These I think, they're either $2 or $3. They are definitely elf pricing, you know? And then this one is a more recent acquisition to my collection. This one is a baked highlighter and blush combo in the shade Rose Gold. So this one actually, when I first used this, it was in a first impression video and it does not swatch well, but it just, it's one of those products where it looks not as good in a swatch, but you put it on your cheeks and it just looks like magic. So I just kind of mix them both together. You could kind of stick to one or the other, but it's definitely kind of a more pinky, glow. I mean, I'm not saying that swatch is ugly or anything. It's definitely pretty, but on the cheeks, it is, it's intense. It makes your cheeks look really almost wet and kind of like a very dewy look, you know? So that's it for my highlighter favorites. I probably had a few more I could have snuck in there, but I didn't want to make this too long. If there's any super duper amazing drugstore highlighters that you love, definitely leave them in the comments because it's one of those product categories, like I said, where I'm pretty addicted to buying that kind of stuff. Well, let's just hop into blushes. When I was first planning this video, I knew I had a lot of drugstore highlighters, but I didn't think I had, you know, a whole bunch of blush favorites from the drugstore. Cause really, honestly, like I love all makeup, you guys know that, but I really like high-end blushes. Um, but when I was looking through my collection, I was actually shocked and surprised at just how many I have that are super duper absolute favorites. Like I'm not including anything here just for the sake of making a drugstore video. This is all stuff that I have definitely used and loved over the years. So let's start with what is on my cheeks today. So this is from Rimmel. This is their lasting finish soft color blush. This is in the shade live pink or live pink. I don't know. Um, 
So that's what it looks like. This is just their standard blush range. When I first bought this, I was like, eh, you know, it's just gonna be a regular drugstore blush. No biggie. But actually it has quite a bit of pigment to it and it builds up really, really well. So this is just your standard, very pretty pink, slight hint of peach to it, but definitely more on the pink side. Um, you know, everyday blush that's gonna suit a lot of skin tones and it has a, just a little bit of sheen into it to give you just a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a glow, but definitely not overdoing it. I really have been loving this blush a lot over the last couple of months. I couldn't do this video without including this. Not only is this one of my favorites from the drugstore, but this is just in general one of my absolute favorite blushes. So this is from Hard Candy. It's their Blush Crush Baked Blush in the shade Living Doll. I've talked about this a lot over the years on my channel. This again is just, it is a baked product. It's one of those, you know, everyday pinks, but it's definitely a little bit more cool toned this one is more warm tone. This one is definitely a bit more on the purpley side and this one has a ton of sheen in it and that's really why I like it so much. Like you don't even really need to wear a highlighter when you wear this, but this is just so beautiful for giving you that natural youthful glow. It's stunning on. This next blush is from Makeup Revolution. It's from their Vivid Baked Blusher line. I only have one from this, and it's because when I was placing an order with Makeup Forever, um, I just saw the name of this blush, and I was like, I have to have that. It's called Bang Bang, You're Dead. Like, who names a blush that? I don't know, but it just struck me as so funny that I had to check it out. So this is that same texture as the Hard Candy one. It's uh, definitely... Um, you know, a baked blush. And this is, in terms of pigment, a little bit lighter than the Hard Candy one. It definitely can be built up, but it's it's definitely that cool toned, kind of purpley pink look. And again, a ton of sheen in it. So I don't have so many from this line that I could say it's an amazing formula all around, but I just wanted to feature this because it's a little bit more of a unique color. And it's just, I've been using it a ton and I really love it. But for Makeup Revolution, what I really wanted to talk about are these blush palettes. So these are their Ultra Blush palettes. I have Sugar and Spice and Hot Spice. So the bottom one here with more peachy corals and uh, peachy pinks is called Hot Spice. And then the top one that's more pinky is Sugar and Spice. So what these have in common is that you have six different blushes. They're a mixture of mattes and shimmers. And then you have two kind of glowy cheek products on the side. Um, like you can see here, this may not be a highlighter for everybody, but it's definitely could be like a blush topper to transform some of these matte shades. And then you definitely have something of a really, really glowy highlight in these. And I've used, I've definitely used the peach one way more, but cause the pink one is a lot newer to me, but they're all amazing quality. And what I love is that you get so much selection and you have so much room to play with this much variety, do you know what I mean? And for such a lower price point. Now the only drawback that I really have to these palettes in general is that they don't last as long as, as some other products. Like you definitely have to reapply the blush probably about eight hours in if you wanna continue, you know, with your makeup that day. So it will give you pretty much like a full day's wear, but if you are looking for really intense longevity, you're gonna wanna kind of refresh probably halfway throughout the day. But I really don't have anything other than that bad to say about these. I love them, I think they wear really well, they are super blendable. That's another thing sometimes with these cheaper makeup palettes that you sometimes worry about blendability, but they blend really, really nicely. Another product from Essence that I think is super cute and just really a really pretty everyday blush that's gonna satisfy a lot of people is their new Mosaic blush. These just launched. I think there might be one more, but I've never got my hands on it. Um, my drugstore doesn't stock the full range of Essence products. And even I've noticed on their website, they don't even have everything that they offer all the time. So that's a little bit disappointing. This one is more of a nice matte option for people for like an everyday work look. It's definitely that mid-tone pink, you know, just a really nice basic blush, but it does have really, really nice lasting power. Again, really super blendable. Love the packaging and the little mosaic design in it. But in terms of the way it wears, it's just really a beautiful product that's gonna look on a lot of people. And then my last picks are from NYX. Picks are from NYX. Um, okay, that was dumb. And then my last picks are from NYX Cosmetics, and these are the ombre blushes. Now I only own two of them, but I definitely think they're really amazing. Um, the only reason I own two is because I can't buy these in store 
where I live and online I can't really see the colors properly. So I took a chance with these two. This is the first one I ever purchased, which is called Soft Flush. This is such a beautiful, beautiful summer shade. If you have kind of mid-tone skin, a little bit tan, if you self tan or darker skin, because this is, these are super pigmented. Like, look at that. You definitely need to be careful with these and they can be blended out. Don't get super intimidated, um, but you definitely need a light hand. But look at that gorgeous, gorgeous coral shade. Like, it's so gorgeous. On the cheeks, it comes off as a, like a definitely burnt kind of apricot color. And wherever you put your brush in this pan, you're either gonna get a lighter pigmentation on this side and more sheen, or deeper pigmentation on this side and less sheen. And then this one here is newer to me. This is Sweet Spring. This is gonna be your kind of everyday pink shade. This has less of an ombre than that one, um, but it definitely has a cooler toned pink on this side and then a warmer corally pink on this side. And that's when that one looks like there. It's definitely kind of your everyday pink that's gonna look good on a lot of people. Um, these are so soft and super blendable and they are, this one, I would say it's a matte. I mean, the other one has a little bit of sheen in it, like I said, depending where you put your brush, but this one comes off definitely more as a matte shade. So that's all my favorite highlights and blushes from the drugstore currently. If you are one of those people, and I will admit to being like this, who kind of really likes to stick to higher end blushes and highlights, I would encourage you to go just check out what the drugstore has to offer because there are a lot of beautiful hidden gems. And like I've shown you today, these ones are all products that I would stack up right next to any high-end blush or highlight and be super satisfied with. So I really hope that you found this helpful and maybe a little bit inspiring. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. I'd love to see you around in my future videos. And don't forget that I still have two more drugstore videos coming for you this week on Thursday and a bonus video on Friday. So I can't wait to post those and see your reactions and get your feedback. Definitely leave any feedback for me down in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you like this video because that really, really does help me out a lot on my channel. And I really appreciate it when you guys do that for me. But that's it for today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're treating yourself really well and loving yourself today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.